Hi there, this is Colton with North Island Nissan, and behind me I have our 2018 Nissan Murano. Uh, you mentioned that this vehicle might be of interest to you, so I figured I'd better just make you a walk around video on it to show you around the vehicle, uh, the features that it comes with, as well as the condition of it. This vehicle did just come in on trade. It actually went through a safety inspection this morning, so it still hasn't had the work done to it, but that'll be getting done next now that the inspection is done. Um, and they'll be going down to detail after the work is done, so it will get a full clean from here, um, but it looks like it came in in pretty good condition. Uh, the outside seems to be in good shape. It is the middle SV trim level. Uh, and there are buttons on the door handle to lock and unlock the vehicle because of that. It does have a cloth interior with Nissan's very comfortable zero gravity seats. Um, very, very comfortable seats in the Murano. Uh, heated seats, large screen in the center there. I will come around to the driver's side and run over a few more features as well. We'll just give you a shot of the dash there. Hopefully you can hear me okay with how windy it is today. Back seats, uh, very comfortable back seats as well. They do recline as well. There's a little strap in the corner here. I won't try and do it with just one arm, but you can recline them back and not just in one or two positions. They actually get uh, quite a bit of a range. I'll see it. I'll go as far back as I can here. So, let's give you a wide angle view. So you can see they lean quite far back as well. That's much further than you would generally have it if you're just sitting back there. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely nice if you're trying to relax or something like that, sitting on the ferry and you got people in the back as well. There's a little USB port back there as well as the vents. Uh, and it does have a full sunroof in it too. There's the SV all wheel drive badge on the back. It does have a bumper protector it looks like. Power lift gate. The Murano's come with a lot of features, even in the base model. So this one is one up from the base model. Here's the back area here. Uh, there are levers here to actually fold down the back seats. Oh, and the seat belts don't get caught in the way. Um, but it's a 60-40 split as you can see there. I'll see, maybe I can try this one here. That one went down all the way. Um, so that one, just seat belt just got caught in the way, but it does fold down. They both fold down quite flat as well. So if you do uh, need quite a bit of extra space, you can definitely get lots with the Murano's. And it is covered in rain, but from what I can tell, the outside does seem to be in really good condition. Today is not the day to look for those really small hairline scratches, mind you, because it'll be hard to see when it's covered in rain, but overall it looks to be in quite good shape. And coming into the driver's side, we do have our power locks, windows, and mirrors. It does have a power seat with lumbar control. Uh, tilt the telescopic on the steering wheel so you can move it up and down and in and out. Uh, currently has 59,515 kilometers. Uh, there are, there's a heated steering wheel in it along with heated seats. Got traction control and power lift gate there. I'll start it up. It does have the push button start. And so you can get a few different things displayed on the screen. Right now we've got a maintenance reminder screen up there. Low key battery which will be getting replaced. This fan strength down a little bit here. Um, so yeah, you can go through a few different things there. Again, you can set your maintenance reminders like that last one had, uh, digital speedometer, fuel economy, music, navigation, all of that. Uh, it does have built-in navigation as well. Um, Bluetooth calling and audio. There is a dual climate control, so you can set a different temperature for each side of the vehicle. Let's see two different temperatures there. Uh, they do share fan strength, which is in the middle. And then down below that, we got the gear shifter, pretty straightforward, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. And then if you push it over to the left, you do get a manual mode. There's a little plus there and a minus on the backside. Um, so you can push it up and down to shift down through the gears, which is kind of handy if you're coming down the mountain or anything like that. Uh, again, we've got our heated seats there. Nice big center console on this one. And I will open up the sunroof quickly here as well to show you that. Um, but I'll do a quick wide up, wide angle uh, pan of the whole vehicle. that's about everything got dual panel sunroof up there if there is anything else in this vehicle that i can show you that i might have missed in this one just let me know I'm more than happy to make you another video or snap a few pictures as well um, but i do hope you enjoyed this one and have a great rest of your day thank you very much for watching um, and again if you have any questions about the vehicle or you'd like to come in and see it just let me know thanks again goodbye